the most formidable obstacle on the whole of this line of communication between London and Dublin was passing the strait which separates the island of Anglesey from Carnarvonshire. This sea arm has peculiarities in its tides, which in every six hours run with great velocity in different passages, and from the vicinity of the Snowdon range of mountains it is subjected to violent gales of wind. In May 1818 he submitted a revolutionary design, evolved from his earlier plan for a River Mersey bridge at Runcorn. This suspension bridge was unprecedented in scale. In 1820, John Wilson took over the contract for all masonry work. Hard limestone came from Lord Bulkley's Penman Quarry on Anglesey. The government paid sixpence a tonne for rough cut stone. Thomas Rhodes, another Telford lieutenant, arrived from the Caledonian Canal in March 1823 to oversee the fixing of the first plate and thereafter the assembly of all ironwork. One end of the chain was bolted to the hanging end from the mainland pier and the other attached to ropes. These passed over large blocks and pulleys to saddle rollers on the top of the Anglesey Tower and then over to two capstans on the shore. 150 men laboured to turn the capstans. Two roadways were constructed, separated by guards of oak seven and a half feet apart. Side railings and oil lamps were added, and a toll house built at each end. Telford inspected the finished Menai Bridge, and it was declared open to traffic. In 1936, Alexander Gibbon partners were called in to produce plans for reconstruction. The main tasks, however, were to replace the four original sets of iron chains with two of high tensile steel and to build a rigid, more stable deck. A remarkable sequence of operations allowed continual flow of traffic throughout the four-year progress. Their first work was to string out steel suspenders along the temporary cables. When clamped, they hung outside the existing deck. Crossbeams of the new deck were then attached one by one. Steel deck plates were placed and riveted. The original chains were taken apart link by link and removed. The old set of four cast iron saddles and rollers came down last and two new saddles were erected on top of the portals. The suspended walkways were then shifted in position to build new chains of individual steel eye bars in appearance like the originals. The Menai Bridge was officially reopened on the 31st of December 1940 finally free from toll on the 1st of January 1941.